What is up guys, welcome back to the video. Now today we're going to be using a hack which I literally just made and I don't even know if my opponent's going to be hacking. They probably are because it's David the Superior. I've played him in a lot of Hacker vs Hacker, which by the way, if you do like Hacker vs Hacker, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be doing plenty more, but yeah. Um, basically, the only tower that we have hacked on our side is the monkey sub. And as you can see already, he is in fact hacking. That is definitely a hacked tower. And yeah, as you can see, this is a hypersonic sub, but there are so many more factors to this, which makes it even more awesome. And we're going to be seeing how late game we can go with our opponent. Um, and we're definitely going to win this. Well, okay, maybe not definitely, but like if I don't win this, I'm going to be very surprised because literally the hypersonic, which means like a really super duper, uh, like fast attacking tower. Uh, in this case, the sub is literally one of the most powerful hypersonic towers there is because it's it's just so amazing it's really really fast the ability the first strike capability of course there's no cooldown on the ability which means we can take out so many zero mgs we can literally just spam the ability and take them out whereas opponent over here david he is good at this game and he does have hacks but they're not completely broken and he is definitely going to find it hard when we go for the late game and not only can we put our monkey subs in the water but of course I made it so we could put them on land as well because this is a map with like half land half water there's actually there's not even that much space on the land to put towers but still I thought why, why not just make it so we could put the monkey sub on the land as well so I did exactly that now I don't quite know wait I just realized something can you you see here at the top of the map it's like it kind of looks like a portal that's sparkling okay i genuinely did not even realize this like this is one of the prettiest maps in the game it seriously is i love this map so much it's really really nice i don't know if i like the layout that much but it is still a really pretty map but yeah he's not farming i don't think like i haven't seen him farm um i haven't seen him eco i don't know how he's going to be making his money i genuinely don't know okay so he's using eco boost interesting I, but I haven't seen him eco at all. Although those those sentry guns are doing a decent job at defending and they're probably not very expensive either. But yeah, so he hasn't really been ecoing. He's just using eco boosts. They're probably, because the hack he has, uh, it basically means that like all of his cards are, no, sorry, all of his towers are cards and all of his powers as well. You can see he had orbital strike. Now we can't see the effect of that on our screen, but I do believe the orbital strike just wipes out everything on his side. And he just sold one of his sentry guns. Is he going to start leaking lives right here? He is going to... No, he's not going to start leaking lives. Dude, I cannot even see his defense now. Okay. Oh my god, that looks awesome. Okay, so that's basically just a regular glaive ricochet, but it fires as fast as a bionic boomer. It's basically... It's a cross path of towers. It's a 3-3 tower, I believe. Or oh, imagine if it had turbo charge. That would be awesome. But yeah, guys, stick around. This is going to be such an amazing late game match. We're not even going to sell our farms. We're just going to keep them right here. Let's go for another factory. We're probably going to go for BIAs as well, just because I do want that eco. Oh, that is a lot of pinks right there. That is a lot of pinks. We're actually going to go for the airburst starts. And we're going to go for the advanced intel. Just look at this. Look at this. Look how many airburst starts there are. He's sending in the zebras. He is sending in the zebras. But it is no match for my hypersonic triple darts sub. That is just an insane amount of popping power right there. And nothing, nothing is going to get past that. But it's nice that he's rushing us with some stuff. Uh, although that's probably just for his eco, so he gets a bit more money. But yeah, he's doing great. If I send like a zebra rush right here, you'll see how good it is. He's balloon boosting me some stuff, but look at this. He just completely demolished that. Look, and rainbows as well. If I send rainbows, look at this. Look at this. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Oh my god. It's like, it's better than the Glaive Lord. I think it's better than the Glaive Lord. He just used another orbital strike. And he used the balloon snipe. He just has so many powers over there. And he's going to have so many towers as well. But look at this. It's insanely satisfying to see the destruction that this 3-3 tower brings. Like, it's not even like that expensive or that high tier. But it's so good. Anyway, oh my god. Okay, so he's got a boat that spawns Apaches. Is that normal? I don't even know. Because I know, wait... I swear, I guess that's the boat skin. Is that even a boat skin? I'm confused now. I'm really confused. I didn't even think that was a boat skin. Is there a boat skin? Guys, is there a boat skin? I can't even remember. There probably is. 
Guys, can you tell me in the comment section? Because I'm lost. Also, guys, please like this video if you do enjoy it. My channel's actually gone down a bit recently, so I'd appreciate all of the likes and the comments and everything you can give. Uh, I'll try and reply to lots of you in the comment section. But yeah, I'd really appreciate all of the support you can give. But yeah, I swear that's not normal. I swear that's not normal. Like, either that's a hack and it's like a really cool texture, or I'm just a, like an idiot and that's just a skin for the boat. Because I genuinely can't remember if there is a skin or not. Because I swear that looks darker than normal. I swear that looks darker than normal. Oh my god. We probably need to get, yes, this. This tower right here. We need to get this tower. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. It is, it is so amazing. It is so amazing. I am actually, I'm going to sell all of this. I want to get that right in, bang in the middle. And yes, you can see the subs can detect camo. But yeah, this is like the perfect place. This is the perfect place to put one. I want to put it bang in the center, right there, right there. I think that's pretty damn close to the center. Uh, and then we will get the reactor. And as you can see, it is, that's not quite in the center. That is not quite in the center. Um, let's try and make it in the center. Otherwise, it's going to annoy everybody. And it's going to annoy me as well. That's better. Uh, I think we're just gonna leave it like that. It's like very slightly to the right and down, but it's good enough. It is good enough and it's a really good job. And look at this, look at this. I hacked this today. It's not hard, but this really, like if I sell all of my other subs, you'll just see how quickly it kills things. You can see how quickly it kills things. It looks really, really awesome. It is super duper powered. And as you can see, oh my God, what is he doing? What? What is he doing? He's got a cleansing bomb that sprays cleansing foam everywhere from the engineer. He's also got a cross between a sun god and a tech terror, which looks awesome. He is spamming his abilities over there. Oh my god, he has so many powers. Yeah, not abilities, sorry, powers. Those were ceramics. Those were ceramics, and that literally did not do anything to us. Oh my god, this is amazing. I feel like if we had chippers as well, that's why, like, I, I just thought, like, chipper would be a fun thing to bring. But the chipper, paired with this, like, really powerful submarine, it's going to be such a formidable defense. Like, man, it is going to be great. So let's get this, set that to first. I guess we're just going to fill this bit of the map with balloon chippers. Because balloon chippers are actually a really fun tower. Let's just keep on getting the balloon chippers, guys. And then we're going to have the sub, of course. And the, basically, the balloon chippers suck, like, the mobs in and everything like that. And then the reactor just damages everything, like, so much. So, and it's going to look really cool as well. Although, the green glow of the sub, kind of like, you can't really see much through it. Because it's literally... It is so bright and it covers everything. It's kind of annoying, actually. Actually, no, it's not annoying. It's kind of nice. Uh, it's not like it's not like uh, one of the previous videos where literally I had to put an e epilepsy warning because I was like scared that like someone would have a seizure from it because it was completely ridiculous. But I think this looks fine. Um, Let's keep on getting all of these balloon chippers upgraded. These are going to take in the BFBs, the mobs, and then the, the, the reactor will do what it can, and it's going to do a really good job. But yeah, the green, the green, it's so bright. You never normally see it like this. It's because I made it so much faster, so much better, so much stronger. That is a Daft Punk reference, although I probably said it in the wrong order, but yes... Uh, I'm not going to bother setting these chippers to strong. Actually, I am going to bother setting these chippers to strong. Let's set a couple of, not all of them. Let's set like some of them to strong. That one's already set to strong. I've already set, set some of these to strong. I didn't even realize, but yes. We'll set like half of them to strong. So they take in all the Moabs and the BFBs and stuff like that. Uh, his defense is certainly interesting. He's going for those weird bolts with the Apache at like the weird, uh, they're meant to be aces, right? They're meant to be little aces, but they are in fact... Uh, heli, heli pilot thingies. I, I don't know if that's a skin or not. I am literally so dumb. I am. I apologize for my small brain, guys. And I have literally, I'm making all of these sets to strong. And I said I wouldn't, but like, I kind of want them all set to strong. So we're going to do exactly that. Uh, we've got most of them set to strong anyway, though. But yeah, so basically, we're going to have an amazing defense. We haven't even uh, got the ballistic missile yet. We haven't even got the ballistic missile. And that is one of the best things. It's it's so good. It is so good. Let's set that to... Okay, all of them, I believe, are set to strong. There we go. Perfect. There we go. There is the first Moab. And uh, obviously, they're going to destroy them very quickly. But we are doing a really good job. Let's collect the 20Ks out of here. We've got 2,600 eco right here. He is using Orbital Strike. Oh, the snipers. If he has the, the cross between the Assault Rifle and the... What's it called? The Cripple Mob? We're going to be able to go very, very late game. Because that is so OP. It is ridiculous. 
Um, so what happens if I sell this? That's probably not a good idea. I can actually see again. I can actually see again. Yay. Uh, oh no, that means, that means I'll probably mess up the circle. It's okay. But anyway, oh my god, I've just been staring at the server this whole time because it genuinely does look really, really cool. That is almost definitely going to be the thumbnail for this video because it is awesome. Uh, but yeah, we are doing a good job. I mean, it's not exactly hard. It's Bonanza. And I'm actually going to show off some of the other towers now. So you can see. Uh, let's go for the triple guns. Let's go for this. So as you can see, this is really powerful. It, you can't even see it pop that much. Uh, simply because the balloon chippers are taking it in everything really quickly. But you can see the pop count when it does. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Those are camo leads. Uh, so we're just going to get rid of those quickly. And then... Wait, we, we didn't even have to do that. We could have just gone for the Ballistic Missile. The Hypersonic, really fast shooting, super duper powerful Ballistic Missile, which is just going to explode everything. It's going to be great. And then we can go for the First Strike capability, and we can just spam the ability as much as we want. And we can destroy all ZOMGs and like everything in its path. It is it is just so powerful. But yeah, my opponent does have a good defense. He has all of those crosses between... Oh my god, that is a lot of stuff on my side right now. That is a lot of stuff on my side. It looked worse than it was, though, because of all the chippers, like, you know, like, making all the balloons go everywhere. Uh, but it, no, we are we are taking charge of things. Oh, look, we can go for a nice ring of fire right here. I wonder how many pops this will actually get. This might actually get quite a few pops, because everything will just be, like, in the middle. So, like, yeah, actually, it's not even getting that many pops, but yeah. Um, we're going to, what happens if we go for a reactor at the start though? Like, is this going to just kill everything before it even has a chance to go on? Like, how many pops is this? Okay, it is going up pretty damn fast. Look at that, look at that. It is going up very, very fast, even though there isn't even that much stuff coming out. Like, this reactor is like the ultimate balloon killer. It is the ultimate balloon killer. Um, against mobs, I don't really know. When the BFBs and ZMGs come out, we're going to see if we can destroy it with like, um, these reactors. I don't know if it's going to work. We're also going to see how late game David can go over that. Also, I'll link his channel in the description of this video. But yeah, we'll see how... Oh, wow. Look at the pop count go up right there. Look how fast that is. That is so fast. Oh, my God. And we're actually... Yeah, the chippers are going to slow everything down. I'm kind of, not going to lie, tempted just to sell all of these chippers. Because they're just going to get in the way. You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's just get rid of all of that stuff right there. We are going to sell the chippers. This may be a controversial move, but I really want to show you guys how good just the subs are. I want to see how good the subs are against all of the mod class stuff. And the chipper, not going to lie, it gets in the way of that. Uh, we are going to need to place that a bit better. Uh, oh my god, how are we struggling against the lead balloons? We literally have... No, that's not even... That's not in the middle either. Okay, we need it. Bang in the middle, right there. That's fine. There we go. Let's just see how long this can solo for. And remember, if things get difficult, we can literally just get the first strike capability upgrade, and then we're going to be fine. He's using big balloon slow. He has so many powers stacked up. Oh my god. Well, not stacked up, but he has so many card powers that he can literally just play whenever he wants to and gets them. But yeah, it looks like our sub is doing a really nice job against all of the AI. He's doing a good job as well. He's using his cleansing bomb. I don't know why. That's literally not going to do anything. So how good is it against mobs? And the answer is it, it, it's not. It, it, it really isn't. Oh my god. But of course, we do have this, which is great. Now, with, if without all of the like using the abilities, it still looks like this sub is doing a really good job. It's not destroying the mobs as fast as I thought it would, considering like those ballistic missiles do extra damage to like mob class balloons, and the dance aren't doing that much damage either. Like honestly, I would have expected more from it, but it's still it's still really powerful because the ability I can spam the ability as much as I want. Like look at this, look at this, just instantly gets rid of any mob class stuff on my side just gone just gone like the wind uh i don't even know if that's a saying but it's a saying now apparently but yeah we are we are doing really well and i don't even have to spam that many towers let's go for like a zero zero here like it goes up fairly fast kind of uh but when we get the ebo starts that's when it really starts to get more powerful the ebo starts when it's hypersonic it's such a good tower but yeah so i still don't know if the boat has a skin or not i really I'm trying to think back. I don't think the boat has a skin. I don't think it has a skin. I think the one I confused it for was the engine. Wait, 
Does the engineer have a skin? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. After this video ends, I'm literally gonna look in the store and find out if things have a skin or not because I am so confused right now. And if they do, I'm going to look like a complete idiot, but that is okay. That, that's what makes the videos entertaining. Well, no, it's not, but it, it, it's entertaining. Okay, round 40. Round 43 is when the first ZMG comes out. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna destroy it with the ability straight away. I wanna see how fast we can destroy it with these nice um, subs, the hypersonic subs. But let's let's get a, a few more first rate capabilities. We'll see how we do it with five of them. And we're gonna sell this one up here. But yeah, it looks really, really nice with all of these missiles and the darts and everything. It's really aesthetically pleasing and it's really powerful too. But David doesn't show any signs of anything close to dying soon. I'm glad he hasn't gone for the Ice Tower or the Temples because they can sometimes make it so we have to play the game again because they like lag us out or something. I really hope that doesn't happen, although it probably won't. But now I've probably just jinxed it, so we are going to lag out. I really hope that doesn't happen, but yeah. Round 41, we are destroying things pretty damn quickly. Um, he does have the snipers that stool things very, very fast because it's a cross between the assault rifle um, and the semi-automatic rifle, I mean, and of course the cripple mob, which is really, really strong. Um, but like our defense is even stronger because we have hypersonic towers and not gonna lie, it is not completely fair because our towers are completely broken and I just said completely twice in a row, but that's okay. Also guys, I don't know if you know, but Half-Life Alex, an amazing virtual reality game came out. You should definitely watch it on like people like Jacksepticeye's channel. Um, Half-Life is like probably my favorite series, like game series, um, even better than balloons in my opinion. So definitely go check that out into your, if you're into those games, although, it is a bit scary, so, and it does include swearing in his video, so if you are young, of course, then probably best not to watch it. Anyway, okay, ZOMG right here, round 43. How fast are we gonna destroy it without using the abilities? Not gonna lie, my defense looks really cool. It looks really damn cool, and it looks like we destroyed it. We destroyed it. Very nice. And it looks like those, okay, those bolts are 4-4 four, four towers, they're max upgrades, because I definitely saw him use... The, like the monkey paw when he pulls the like the bfbs and the mobs into the tower so i think those are not just regular uh whatever those ships are called i think they're a cross path tower a 4-4 hack tower which explains like why he's doing so well like his defense is that is so many darts though that is so many darts coming out right now and that's actually really cool the snipers when they spawn those aces of the skin that is really nice so he's using the, why do you use the cleansing bomb? You really don't, and like, did you see the glue storm on his side as well? Like, you really don't need that at all. And he's using another balloon snipe, another big balloon slow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this guy out. I really hope I am, but I don't think he's going to die anytime soon. Okay, here we go. Two ZMGs. Whoops. My finger slipped. Actually, my, ha my finger had to slip a lot of times right there. Um, wow, that literally, that took a lot longer to kill than I thought it would, even with spamming all of those abilities. And he is definitely struggling. Like, you can see he's not popping the ZMGs so fast. Uh, I'm going to get a couple more subs right now, uh, just to see if that helps at all. And it does look like it's helping. We are taking things out pretty damn well. Remember, he has the snipers that stool everything on his side, which is great for him. There we go. That is a lot of first strike capabilities. That is a lot of defense right now on my side. Look at this. Look at this. It looks so cool. It looks so cool with all the missiles and the green and everything. It is it's such a nice defense. And if we sell that, you can see. Oh, God. Oh, God. That actually got really far for some reason. And no, it's not in the middle. Like, okay, there we go. We want it right there, I guess. Somewhere there. Um, so look, if we spam this as fast as I can, it still, it still takes a while to take everything out. But we're going to go for the rush. We're going to go for the rush. I'm going to give him the thumbs up. We have money saved up in our BAAs if we want it, but we really don't need it. But yeah, we're going to go for the rush. Hopefully he's going to be taken down. He's using the big balloon buster. Is that going to be enough? Probably. I don't even need to spam my abilities because my subs are definitely enough at the moment. Um, his, he's starting to get, yeah, the ZMGs are starting to get further on his side, but he's, he has so many powers to use. He just used the big balloon buster. That's definitely going to take the edge off things. Sorry, the big balloon slower. 
um, which is definitely going to take the edge of things. But as you can see, the ZMGs are definitely going to start piling up at the back, and I think it's going to get too much. Uh, let's just spam a bunch of these abilities. There we go. And let's keep on sending right here. Let's keep on sending. Uh, let's get another one of these. Let's get another one of these. Um, and let's get... Oh, God. Oh, God. So he's using another Big Boom Slow and another Orbital Storm. I don't know how good the Orbital Storm is because we can't see the effect that that has on his side. He's using the E-Cobbles. It definitely looks like he's starting to struggle. It definitely looks like he's starting to struggle. There are a lot of ZMGs on his side right now. I, he should be dead. He should be dead very shortly. Uh, everything, it looks like, wow. He is taking down so many of those BFBs right there. But everything, okay, he's using another Big Boom Slow. I genuinely don't know if we're going to be able to take this guy out. This is taking forever. And we just wasted so much money. At least we got... 60k saved up right there very nice so i guess we're just gonna stop rushing him for a while we're just gonna stop rushing him for a while because it looks like he's okay uh i'm really gonna have to start spamming some more towers right here uh i didn't go like ham on the towers like getting so many towers because i thought we already have the win by now i stopped sending maybe i shouldn't have stopped sending uh but it's good to get up a couple more towers just to take uh like just to ease things off a bit and let's start wait we're gonna run out of money we are going to run out of money. Oh my god. Okay, let's just keep on sending. Let's just keep on sending. He's using another big balloon slow. He's using another balloon swipe, which will take out one entire ZOMG just like that. He is really relying on his powers right now to take everything out. And as you can see, we are doing great on my side right now. We are taking things out very, very quickly without even using the abilities. Okay, quick. He's not using the big balloon slow. He's not using the big balloon slow. Everything is going very, very fast on his side. He's using the cleansing bomb. He's using the big balloon buster. He's using the big balloon slow. Oh, he... Are you kidding me? He just went down to 31 lives and he's balloon boosting against me. Is he going to send anything? I don't know. He was literally about to die right there. He was about to die right there and somehow he survived. Let's spam as many first strike capabilities as we can. I'm literally spamming this as fast as I can. And it seems to be doing the job. There we go. We just took out all of that. That is our rush. That is our rush. Um, there's nothing really more we can do. Oh, never mind. We have 20k. We have 40k. We have 60k. We can keep on sending. Yep, the big balloon slow just wore out. Okay, he just used it literally instantly again. Uh, let's keep on spamming these first strike capabilities. He's using another balloon boost against me. That's not really gonna do anything because like he hasn't sent anything against me. He's dead. He's dead. He is dead. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.